In the early stage of my career, one mistake that I made while creating trading strategies and deploying machine learning algorithms was that I didn't pay enough attention to data quality. As a result, the outcome was suboptimal. For example, if you want to predict the next day's stock returns using five years of stock data, you can't directly feed the raw price data to the machine learning algorithms. Raw data has several issues, such as survivorship bias, duplicates, and non-stationarity. For instance, say during the dot-com bubble, we bought every technology stock that currently is still being traded. That strategy would have done fabulously well, but in reality, lots of those technology stocks would have gone bankrupt and disappeared from the current data set. So it is important to pre-process the data and make data suitable for backtesting. The process of preparing financial data for analysis is called financial data science. In an article on data challenges in AI projects, IBM's senior VP of cloud and cognitive software said, about 80% of the work with an AI project is in collecting and preparing data. Evaluate your own AI projects. Think about how much time you have spent preparing your data. After pre-processing the data, you can use it for analysis. The pre-processed data is used to create features and labels that are fed to machine learning algorithms. Features can be daily returns of the stock data, technical indicators, bid ask spread, daily volume, and so forth. The features should represent the factors which affect the prediction outcomes. If you create bad features, you won't get good prediction results, no matter how great your machine learning algorithm is. The process of creating features using the pre-processed data is called feature engineering.